Hop back on and away you go. He said, well, he doesn't know yet. He hasn't done it. As there he goes, Keen Ellicock fighting Anthony Collins. They both simultaneously land a right. Now there's a right by Ellicock who adjusts his helmet. Fighting without his lid is Collins. He shakes his glove and the pad off. And Ellicock takes him down. Oh my gosh, they were trading punches. And Alicock grabbed him and swung him to the frozen pond. Nice tackle. If Andy Reid was here, he might be trying to sign Kane Alicock. Hey, they went from the middleweights to the WWE. What can I say? Oh, my gosh. Well, now Kane Alicock does know what it's like to fight once again after spending four years at Waterloo and Wilfrid Laurier University. And it's ironic that we just got through talking <laughs> about it. All right, let's talk about some Maverick goals then. Five minutes each for fighting for Alicock and for Collins. So a big opportunity for the Mallards as it's passed top of the right wing faceoff circle to Monfredo. Back to the blue line, a shot, kicked out the rebound! Oh, a score by the Mallards. Well, not a whole lot you can do defending a five on three power play. And I believe it was Justin Fox who ripped the rebound home. A power play goal for Quad City. They still will be on the power play, but it will be a one man advantage now. Well, Robinson deflected the first shot, but the second shot, I'm not sure he even had a chance for it. Draw goes to Eviston, back pedals, hammered to the wall by Kane Alicock, but it goes in back of the net. There is Mario Lamaru, a shot in the score. Oh. Mm. That one big for the Quad City Mallards is lifting one into the corner was Lamaru. So the mountain gets a little bit steeper for the Missouri Mavericks. The goal at the 737 mark of the third period. Angled shot that hit the post and bounced on in. Maverick sent it through the slot, no one there. Angled off the boards, in back to neutralize. Take it away, Fiddler tied up. Can't get the shot away and back defensively. The Mavericks played it through the slot, but we get a whistle and a stop and play and a hooking goal. And the Mavericks will be short-handed. That comes with 104 left in the third period. The referee, Jake Brake, talking things over before this penalty is assessed. 